Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Today I have a very cool mod for you. I present to you the MRTV Frankenforth mod for the HP Reverb G2. With this mod you can easily drastically increase the FOV of your HP Reverb G2 and you don't even need to 3D print anything. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and as you probably know, this channel here is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you independent XR reviews. You're getting the latest news and tutorials just like this one that are going to improve your VR experience. So if you want more videos just like this one in the future, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. The Reverb G2 Frankenforth. It is a really cool mod and it's so simple. I've just tried it out and it's just working so gloriously. So if your original FOV of the G2 is too small for you and you want to get closer to index levels, this mod is for you. And as I just told you before, you don't even need to 3D print any face gasket. It is simply beautiful. So let's directly get into it and let me show you how you can make this happen, which will get your FOV closer to index levels. And this is everything you need. The Reverb G2, the Samsung Odyssey Plus VR cover, self-adhesive Velcro and scissors. Really, that is all you need. All right, so this is the original face gasket of the G2. And for this mod, we're going to replace it with the VR cover. So simply get it off and this VR cover, the one for the Samsung Odyssey Plus, we're going to fit it into here like this. So we have to make it fit like this and therefore we're going to use the self-adhesive Velcro. Now for Velcro, as you know, it has two sides. One is more soft and the other one comes with the little hooks. So for the VR cover, it's the soft side. So for this self-adhesive Velcro, you will need to find the hook side because you will get these here, the hook side and also the loop side. So take the hook side, that's what you need for this mod. This here is the hook side with the hooks. Now I'm showing you the positions where I place those adhesive Velcro stripes. It's five positions and I'm making sure that I'm not gluing over that magnetic areas so I can still put the original face casket later. So not over glue this part here. And when you don't, you can still use the original face gasket later. So if you for whatever reason want to use the original face gasket, you can do so. Also make sure that you can still use the IPD adjustment, of course. And now simply keep on gluing that adhesive Velcro goodness onto your Reverb G2. And perhaps you can even use more than the five positions that I use, but with five positions, you should be good. The VR cover, by the way, the Samsung Odyssey Plus VR cover, it's still available on the VR cover website, the link down in the description of this video, and you're going to get two pieces for $29. And now, first of all, I'm going to try if the old face gasket still fits and it does fit. So if you want to go back to your old gasket, you can still do so. But now the big moment. Will the Samsung Odyssey Plus VR cover fit into the Reverb G2? And <laughs> it is actually not really hard to do that here now. And well, it does fit so well, actually. It does look as if it was made for this headset. So check this out. This is the finished Frankenforf mod, the MRTV Frankenforf mod. It's just so nice. The only thing left to do now is to check it out. So let's do this. All right, so let me check out the Frankenforf mod. And wow, okay, my very first impression here now it is definitely wider because yes, I can tell already that I'm closer to the lenses here with my eyes. But I'm even having not maxed it out here, but I can tell already because this VR cover is soft, it's depressing and it's allowing my eyes to get closer to the lenses, which increases the FOV. But I could even get more if I now adjust those Velcros here on the side. So let me 
mix it out. Let me get closer here. Wow, okay. Let me even... Let me try to mix it out. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is really something here. And it's so easy to make this mod. This is crazy. And it still feels comfortable because that specific VR cover, you know, the one for the Samsung Odyssey Plus, it is very soft. And um, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's really, really cool. It is a big increase. And I'm going to measure it out for you now. All right, by now we all know this tool. It's a fantastic tool. Again, link down in the description of this video. So, 90 degrees, 94 degrees, 98 degrees, 100 degrees. And then afterwards, unfortunately, the thing was not rendered anymore. But I do think it could go further, actually. But because there was no bar rendered anymore, well, we're sticking it here 200 degrees. And I could reach this without pressing the headset closer to my eyes. Before, I was at 98 degrees, but I had to really press the device closer to my head to make this happen. The great thing is that people who did not have 98 degrees before, because probably their head shape is different, now can get to that. And here now the vertical FOV, and here I'm getting 214 degrees actually in the end, but also the bar wasn't rendered anymore, and I believe it could actually go on a bit further. And I reached this 140 degrees without having to press the headset closer to my eyes. So overall, a very respectable 100 degrees horizontal and 114 degrees vertical. Really nice, getting closer to the index and now let's try this out in a game. All right, so I'm now in a game. I'm in Half-Life Alyx just to find out how the FOV is like in a game. And yes, also here I can tell the difference. This does look better. This does look uh, wider FOV wise horizontally and vertically. Okay, that was to be expected because my eyes are now close to the lenses and that does help with FOV always. And again, it is really comfortable. So I wouldn't say this is less comfortable than the original solution. It is really good, this Odyssey Plus VR cover. A bit thicker one is great because it does depress, it gets small, so you can get close to the eyes, but it's not hard, it's soft. It's a really, really good solution this franken Fov, And I can absolutely recommend it to you if you feel like the original face gasket is not giving you enough FOV. So with this, you're getting closer to the index. I wouldn't say this is index level yet in terms of FOV, but you are getting closer and that's so cool to see. So simply check if you can get the Odyssey Plus VR cover somewhere probably still on the website i must check this out if they still have it and that is really great also i do believe that this could help some people who feel that they don't have edge to edge clarity now i told you i had this already with the original face gasket probably my eyes are in exactly the right position but i believe it also has to do with how close are you to the lens now this is bringing your eyes closer to the lens and i'm telling you i have edge to edge clarity i look right left up and down and i see everything super nice and perfectly clear and that is so beautiful with this headset you know it is really a beautiful headset so i would say this is an amazing mod the MRTV Frankenfoff mod. <laughs> yeah, call it by this name, the MRTV Frankenfoff mod. Really cool. And yeah, I like it. I absolutely love this mod. This is so good. And well, this cover you can get from VR Cover for $29. And I'm going to link it down in the description of this video. And if you're not okay with PU leather, but you want something probably that is even more comfortable, but this is actually really comfortable, you can also go for the Velour Cover. It is $29 as well. And it is, well, softer to your skin, that that's totally up to you. I can tell you that this PU Leather Samsung Odyssey Plus VR cover works fantastically. Also for the Velcro, I'm going to link it down in the description of this video so you directly know what to get. Really, really a great, great mod, the Frankenfoff mod. 
And that's it for this video. I really hope that I could provide value. If yes, give it a thumbs up. That also helps with the algorithm so that more people can find this channel and this video. And for the same reason, also leave a comment and let, for example, people know what you think of this mod and if you have tried it, what you think of it. That's everything that I got for you. If you want more videos from me, if you want behind the scenes information, and if you want to support independent content, then become a member of the MRTV Elite, my Patreon channel at MRTV Elite. The link is also down in the description of the channel. And that is how I finance myself. And that's why I can stay independent. Okay, that's everything that you have to do. <laughs> Not so many things. <laughs> and well, I'm very much looking forward to see you in the next episode.